start across the region, but believe it or not, it is warmer than what we've been seeing. But the big weather story that we're really focusing on is still Hurricane Ian. Now a Category 1, it has re-strengthened overnight as it begins to approach those mid-Atlantic states, extending from Georgia over to my home state of North Carolina. So keeping a close eye on that as hurricane watches have been out uh, for that region. But here at home, the exact opposite in most of the Midwest, we are clear. We're not seeing any rain, much less any clouds as well. So great start to the morning. If you have any plans today, we expect to continue to stay clear. And that's thanks to this high pressure that is just off to our northeast. So it'll continue to funnel in this cooler air into our area and surrounding areas as well as we're down into the 40s for us. Surrounding areas somewhere in those 50s. So we're still a little bit on the cooler side, but a beautiful sunrise this morning. Gorgeous in Mount Vernon. A little bit of fog we see there on Perryville, but overall not a bad start to our day and it is still fairly quiet. Similar pattern than what we've been seeing most of the week, but temperatures a little on the chilly side still as we were saying. Uh, Cape Girardeau still in the 30s at 39, Mount Vernon at 38. The rest of us somewhere in these 40s. Paducah a bit warmer at 46, Murray 47. Overall today, not looking too bad before lunchtime. We're expecting to stay nice and sunny. Temperatures climbing into the 50s by 9 o'clock, 60s right before lunchtime. We still have that breeze out of the northeast. It's a bit of a chilly breeze, but should not ruin your day. So today lots of warmer temperatures are expected as well as lots of sunshine. This weekend will be a beautiful start to the new month. Perfect to get out for any fall festivities. Monday a little bit warmer even more and some clouds are expected to return. Still not really seeing any rain though in our uh, short forecast, but dry this morning. We see that wind coming out of the northeast temperatures this morning. We're in those 40s by 9 o'clock, warming up to the 50s. A great chance to eat lunch outside today. We have those higher 60s, low 70s. Lots of sunshine, still not really seeing any clouds pop up on our map. On your way home this evening will be really nice into the 70s tonight. On your way home from possibly some football games will be down into the 50s. You'll want that sweatshirt possibly with you tomorrow morning if you have an early start. A little bit warmer than today at least, but we're still continuing to trend dry. Our recent drought monitor here has a lot of our region now in an area of moderate drought. So you're going to want the Storm Track 3 app, but it's really not because of the rain. The rain is everywhere but us here in the Midwest. We see a lot of rain off to the east. That's thanks to Hurricane Ian, but here at home, we are still continuing to remain dry, but overall not a bad looking seven day. It's pretty on par for what to expect this time of year. Temperatures today and tomorrow in those mid 70s, warming up a bit more on Sunday as we hit 76. A couple clouds return next week, but still not really seeing any rain chances. Of course, we have viewer photo of wow. the day. This was sent Ooh. in by Jane at Lake mm. of Egypt. Just Pretty. a nice taste of fall. So Gorgeous. thank you, Jane, for sending wow. that in. You are this week's winner. Congratulations, <laughs> Jane. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you. Katie. Thank you.